What's going on guys and welcome back to the second episode of the fourth season of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Sanctuary Park. Last we left off, we uh, we started off with Cryolophosaurus, Warosaurus, Nasutoceratops, Coelophysis. Some Coelophysis are kind of wandering over here. They are healing because they were starving for a little bit. So I just turned off food and water for the time being just so they don't go hungry or thirsty. Two Changesaurs, two of the three Changesaurs have died, meaning this one is the last of its kind. You are strong, which is good anyway. Have you been into any fights yet? Yeah, you have. You won one and you lost one. All right. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with the wheel. You know how I do like one at a time and like, you know, all that, and then I just create the creature and then move on to the next one? Well, that kind of takes too long and drags the episode a bit. So to make it go a little bit quicker, I'm going to do all the herbivores and all the carnivores in one go and then just release whatever we um, we get. So that's what we're going to do. So for the herbivores, I'll be releasing eight of them. So there will be two herbivores on each side. And when it comes to carnivores, there will be six of them. So then I'll release two here. Two over there, one over here, and only one over here. So that's what we'll do to try and make it a little bit fair. But yeah, if you find yourself enjoying this video and want more content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Let's see if we could get to a thousand subscribers on the channel. That would be very much appreciated. But with that, let's begin the wheel. All right, and we'll probably keep a list of the results. So the first herbivore is... Polacanthus, okay. What's the second herbivore gonna be? Polacanthus, Kentrosaurus, okay. Number three, what's number three gonna be? Number three is Edmontosaurus. Number four, Parasaurolophus. Okay, all right. That's number four, we're halfway there. What's number five gonna be? Maybe, ooh, Mementisaurus. Okay, let's go. Mementisaurus, that's number five. What's number six gonna be? Triceratops, okay. And what's number seven gonna be? Dreadnoughtus, okay, all right, that's seven done. What's number eight? The eighth and final one. And Archaeornithomimus. So the herbivores are Polacanthus, Kentrosaurus, Edmontosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Mementisaurus, Triceratops, Dreadnoughtus, and Archaeornithomimus. All right, so let's start adding them in. So for Polacanthus, and this will probably go a lot quicker, because of it. So Polacanthus is right over here. Let's modify the genome, make sure everything's at 25%. I swear, the only reason Archaeornithomimus exists in this game is because of that one joke Claire Deering made in Jurassic World. There we go. Triceratops is being created. Let's check on these guys. Ooh. All right, we got some cool ones. Do we have any strong? We have a defensive one. And a fit one. That's good anyway. Let's release those. And do we have Camp Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous. They're all Camp Cretaceous. Okay. Are any of them Pierce anyway? No, it looks like none of them are Pierce. So we'll just release those for now. We got a Dominion Dreadnoughtus. I said I wanted to make two of those. So let's get another one going. I think they're both Dominion. All right, cool, cool. All right, who else is ready? Um, all right, that should be everything. All the herbivores being added in. So let's start with, uh, well, hatchery number one, the Dreadnoughtuses will... Well, let's release the Archaeornithomimus first. We'll release them. All right, that's Archaeornithomimus taken care of. Let's move on to one of the Dreadnoughtus. Let's go. First time Dreadnoughtus is ever making an appearance here. A sauropod. I don't know if it's the largest sauropod ever, but it's up there. Awesome. Just awesome. All right. We'll start releasing that Dreadnoughtus. And then while we wait, let's start releasing the others, like the Polacanthus, for example. Oh. 
More herbivores are being added into the fray. Like this small ankylosaur like Polacanthus. Let's release the Kentrosaurs next. More armored dinosaurs. Edmontosaurus. Now, Parasaurolophus. Plenty of food to go around. And now for the Triceratops. There's the Jurassic Park Triceratops. I think you're a strong one anyway. All right, let's move on to the Mementisaurus. And then we'll start releasing the second one. And now that's all the herbivores pretty much released. Let's move on to the carnivores. All right, so for the carnivore wheel, we're gonna add in six carnivores. Carnivore number one is... Ooh, starting off strong, Giganotosaurus, okay. And what's carnivore number two gonna be? Utah Raptor once again, all right. That's carnivore number two. What's carnivore number three gonna be? Oviraptor, okay, all right. That's another cool one. What's carnivore number four gonna be? Ooh, Kakarodontosaurus, okay. Two more. What's carnivore number five gonna be? Troodon, okay, all right, fine by me. And the sixth and final carnivore, what's it gonna be? Hyroraptor, okay, all right. Looks like it's just Rise of the Dromaeosaurus. So we got Giganotosaurus, Utahraptor, Oviraptor, Kakarodontosaurus, Troodon, and Pyroraptor. All right, so for Giganotosaurus, we'll probably and Carcharodontosaurus, we'll throw in two each. So, okay, let's filter that to Carnivore and Piscivore. Let's get Giganotosaurus first. There we go, that's all of the Carnivores being added in. So let's start with this. So that, oh wait, that's Hatchery 2. Let's start with Hatchery 1, so what do we got? Both Evolution ones, so we got Strong, Social, and Fit, Social, Nocturnal, Quenched, and Small Appetite, and Aggressive. All right. So we'll throw everything in. What's ready? Utah Raptor. Let's throw them in first. Alright, let's get the Troodons out in the meantime. Alright, and the Pyroraptors. We'll get the small carnivores out first just so they can get ready. Let's release the Giganotosaurs now. Big carnivores. Chandrasaur might want to watch out. We'll release two of them. Oviraptors next. The little Oviraptors. They'll probably won't be able to do much, if I'm gonna be honest. All right, so that's over up to take care of. As long as the seal of Physes stay within the general area, they should be able to hunt down the, the um, Oviraptors. And now Kakarodontosaurus. Let's go. The two apex predators. We'll get T-Rex at some point. All right, I'm pretty sure that's 
every single dinosaur released. Now let's turn everything on. All right, I just went ahead and turned everything on. So now we should just start getting creatures fighting each other and whatever. We'll have to see who survives and who dies. We got a couple of Myasauri kind of just wandering over here. We've got Utah Raptors chilling in the background. One Utah Raptor anyway. All right, we've got a fight between two Coelophysis fighting for alpha status. Now that they've got food in the uh, Oviraptors, they should feed off of them. We got a fight between two Troodons, probably fighting for dominance. We got a Kentrosaurus versus a Kentrosaurus. Nasutoceratops, Nasutoceratops. Oh, we got Utahraptor and Changesaurus. The Utahraptor just died. What did this guy have for traits? Quenched fit, nocturnal, aggressive, and defensive. All right. Yeah, you died relatively quickly. The two Dreadnoughtus are kind of just running away. We got the two Gigas fighting each other already for alpha dominance. The two Mementisaurs are kind of just chilling here. We've got Pyroraptors over here. They're probably going to hunt down the Trikes, I would imagine. We've got a Dinochirus just wandering around, doing whatever it wants. So yeah, now we're in a desert, so the stakes should be much higher. We've got an Asutoceratops against Wuerosaurus. Utah Raptor versus Concavenator. We'll have to see who wins here. I think Concavenator was in the first season. 87% against 65. Yeah, the Utah Raptors got this. Yeah, they're probably going to call it off. Yep, Utah Raptor won that exchange. We've got a Stegosaurus kind of just minding its own business. That's cool. Another Utah Raptor fighting another Concavenator. They're fighting for territory, it looks like. Utah Raptors are kind of just running for their life. Yep, oh yeah, they're, they're going after them. Which one? It's this one. Oh. One over Raptor just died. You know what? For these guys, let's just... Uh, Get the Oviraptors on automation. Meanwhile, we've got a Utahraptor going after a, an Archeornithomimus, it looks like. Which one? Oh, it's this one. Let's go. We might do some automations here. We got a Troodon hunting down a, an Edmontosaurus. Wuarosaurus v. Wuarosaurus. Another Troodon hunting down an Edmontosaurus. Oh, we got Cocarodontosaurus against Polacanthus. Wasn't really much of a fight. The Polacanthus just died. Yeah, it's, this is a pretty big map. A pretty big map. This is the extended version of Southwest USA. Huh, look at that gorge. That's cool. Or canyon. I believe that's a gorge. We kind of got a crowd of dinosaurs just scattered around here. Pyroraptor versus Deinonychus. This should be interesting. A Troodon hunting down a Parasaurolophus. 100% against 100%. We'll have to see who attacks first. Pyroraptor's actually larger than Deinonychus. We got Utah Raptor hunting down a, a Myasauri. I kind of want to see how that goes. Or trying to hunt down a Myasauri. Oh no, it's a Moros. A Moros Intrepidus. Yep, there we go. Dononicus and Pyroraptor. Yeah, they're at war with each other, it looks like. Those guys are calling it off. Those guys might call it off. Oh no, that Pyroraptor just killed that Dononicus. They're probably going to be at war for a little bit anyway. We got Cacarodonosaurus against Kentrosaurus. Kentrosaurus couldn't really do much, it looks like. Pyroraptor against Dononicus. Yeah, Dononicus are being killed off left and right. They don't really stand much of a chance. Well, that's a pretty Pyroraptor. I love the purple. Ooh. Dononicus does land a hit in. Alright, they will call that off. Dononicus will survive that fight. We got a fight between a Utah Raptor and a Changesaurus. Yeah. Utah Raptor did not stand a chance against that. This is the only remaining Changesaurus left. Bless him. I'm gonna name you Pinocchio. After the Pinocchio Rex. Yeah, you can be Pinocchio. Meanwhile, the Dreadnoughtus are kind of just minding their own business over here. They might be looking for food soon. What's their... 
They need tall fruit and tall fiber. All right. I can give you that. There we go. I'll give you a little watering hole over here. We got a fight between a Giganotosaurus and a Concavenator. I don't think the Concavenator is going to last that long. Nope, it doesn't. We still got two Concavenators left. They're kind of just running around, doing whatever. Coelophysis hunting down an Oviraptor. Not surprising. We got a Stegosaurus going after... We got Giganotosaurus versus Stegosaurus. 75% against 79%. Ooh, the Stegosaurus actually has the upper hand here. They'll do a little dance. 51% against 59. Not looking too good for the Giga. Yeah, they're calling it off. We got a Cryolophosaurus going up against a Kentrosaurus in the distance. 36% against 85%. Yeah, not looking too good for the Cryo. The Cryo does land a bite in. That's cool. They're calling it off, though. 36% against 71%. You probably have strong... No, you're fit and resilient. Resilient, which means you'll probably heal relatively quickly. Another Deinonychus v. Pyroraptor fight. Yeah, the Pyroraptors are just killing the Deinonychus left and right. We got another Polacanthus that just died to a Cacarodontosaurus. We've got an Edmontosaurus just feeding on some grass, which is nice. Meanwhile, the two Cacarodontosaurus... Oh, we got a fight between Pinocchio and a Changosaurus, or a Concavenator, even. Wow, Pinocchio, you're kind of a... You're kind of a beast, not gonna lie. Five wins, only one loss. And you're a level five, you're a tyrant. Don't underestimate the medium-sized predators. We had a fight between a Troodon and a Utahraptor. Troodon got absolutely destroyed by that Utahraptor. You're the last living Utahraptor, I do believe. We got a fight between a Concavenator and a Chunkingosaurus. That should be interesting. I think you're the last living Concavenator, because Pinocchio did just kill a Concavenator. We got Cacarodontosaurus going after a Cryolophosaurus, which does take the hit. Ooh, that Cacarodontosaurus. No, Cryolophosaurus, I think, is going to die unless they fall off their fight. Oh, Cryolophosaurus does land a bite in. Yeah, they're going to call it off. Yep. 87% against 2%. Yeah, you are you are going to die. We got another Troodon hunting down an Edmontosaurus. Stegosaurus versus Giga. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a fight between a Cacarodontosaurus and a Wuerosaurus. There's plenty of food for these carnivores to go around. They do a little dance. 88% against 27%. Yep, Wuerosaurus is gonna die. Yep. Consider it dead. I kind of like the rule. Of the Cacarodontosaurus. It looks cool. It sounds cool, I should say. I hope this guy makes an appearance in a Jurassic film in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's in a TV show or a movie, I want it to make an appearance. Maybe Chaos Theory or that new movie that's coming out. I think it's going to be called Jurassic World Rebirth. You know, the new movie coming out next year. Oh, we got another Wuerosaurus and Cacarodontosaurus. 75% against 100%. Not looking good for Woo. Oh, it does land a hidden. Are you one of the strong ones? No, but you are resilient and defensive. That's good anyway. In a herbivore. They're calling it off. I kind of like this one. You look cool. You know I'm going to name you. You can be Kermit. You can be Kermit. Giganotosaurus against Stegosaurus. This should be more interesting, though. Ooh, I think the Stego landed the first hit in. I think you're strong. Long live, tolerant, skittish, aggressive, strong, and defensive. Ooh. I think you should be the new Sage. I'm not gonna name you Sage. You can be Mage. Mage the Stegosaurus. Hmm, 
I don't think there's really anything else here. A lot of the small carnivores, you know what? We can just remove this automation. I think the morals will probably either scavenge or... Oh, we got Kermit fighting a Cryolophosaurus. Alright, the Cryolophosaurus just died. We still got another one, which is just hungry right now. Right now, you're just looking for water. Stegosaurus and Giganotosaurus at it again. This is a different Giganotosaurus. It's not mage. Ooh. It's not looking good for the Gigas. This is nice. You know what? Having the last Apex Predators be strong, to make up for it, these Apex Predators are kind of weak in comparison to the last ones. Like, this one's traits are small appetite, quenched, nocturnal, and social, and aggressive. Meanwhile, we've got another Giganotosaurus, the other Giganotosaurus, hunting down a Myasaura. Ooh. Learning to survive. You know what? I think I might name you Charcoal. You could be Charcoal. Meanwhile, we've got Kermit hunting down a Centosaurus. Oh, got him. There we go. Troodon hunting down an Oviraptor. That's nice. They made their way to the Seal of Physis's territory. Which isn't really too good. Ooh. I was gonna say, are you gonna swallow that hole? So Seal of Physis is a slightly different animation from whatever. Meanwhile, we've got Cryolophosaurus hunting down an Edmontosaurus. You're probably just hunting for food. I wanna see this go down. The chase is on! Oh, it's not looking too good. I think the Edmontosaurus just got away. Alright, we got Giganotosaurus and Stegosaurus fighting again. Oh, the Giga just died. The Gigas are kind of struggling. They are struggling. A Stegosaurus just killed one of them. Meanwhile, the Cacarodonosaurus aren't doing too bad. They're kind of just, uh, basically thriving off of the plethora of food in this valley. But yeah, I think with that, that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.